Happy Father's Day, big boy! Oh, breakfast in bed, yes, Luke. You didn't have. Is this just a banana skin? Yes, sir, about that. I just got a little bit hungry on the way upstairs. Right, I mean, there's loads of bites taken out of this toast. Yeah, I love toast. Okay, and the empty cup? The toast was dry then, alright? Anything else you want to complain about? No, sorry, you're right, Luca. Thanks for bringing this up, mate. You're welcome, Dad. I got your present too. Oh, sick, Luca. This is awesome. What is it? Is it a wallet? That looks quite a lot like my wallet. It's got my cards in it. Have you. Did you wrap up my wallet? It's the foot that counts, Dad. Yeah, doesn't really apply here because you just stole one of my possessions and then wrapped it up and given it back to me. Jeez, talk about glass half empty. Oh, sorry, Luke, I just thought you haven't put much thought into this Father's Day. Wait until you see this bad boy. Oh, you made me a card. Yes, Luke, that's awesome. Number one, Dad. And you do a little face of me as well. That's so sick. <coughs> to Dad, I hope you have an awesome Father's <coughs> Day. Lot. Why are you laughing? Nothing. No one likes you, Dad. What the hell, Luca? <laughs>Good morning and welcome to another video and before we start I want to say a quick thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video and the topic of today's video is going to be sick. In fact, let's play a quick game called whoever makes the best YouTube videos wins. You ready? Game over, I win. So to celebrate my victory I'm going to ask for two small favours. Firstly, can you drop this video a like and secondly, if you are new to the channel, can you please subscribe? I actually got an email from YouTube earlier on today saying that every single person who subscribes to my channel is going to get £10,000 cash. So Probably do it, yeah? Anyway, today's video, what in God's name is happening? Give me a sec, I'm gonna go and grab someone who can explain. Luca! Okay, so Luca, I need you to explain to the audience what is happening in today's video. Um, three, two, one, go. Whatever I draw, you've got to eat it. So whatever you draw, I have to eat? Yeah. What, literally? Um, I'm not gonna eat the actual drawing, am I? No. That'd be ridiculous. You don't be ridiculous. Okay, what kind of stuff are you gonna draw? Um, a swimming pool and maybe an octonaut, and then you can eat that. A swimming pool. Yeah. And an octonaut. Yeah. Uh, any any food? Um, yeah. I'll draw a picture of a banana. Oh, thanks, mate. Okay, let's get started. You ready for this transition? Yeah. Sickest transition incoming. Okay, we're set. Luca, are you ready for this? Yeah. This is a key moment in everyone's lives. This is it. You nervous? No. <laughs> Good to know, right. The paper is yours, Luca. Yes. Begin. That's a banana. Banana? Where, where's the banana? Which bit's the banana? Mm, this one bit of the banana, and that's the stalk. Okay. It hangs on the tree. What's, the, what's, the, what's this bit? And that's the picture of it. Right. Okay, yeah, makes sense. What, the next thing? That's a... Egg? No, that's a... <laughs> it's a lovely banana. Okay, so we've got two bananas so far. Yeah. Okay, something else? Mix up maybe? Got a bit more space here, not yeah. to maximise that. Yeah, mix it up with another banana. <coughs> another banana? Hmm. Right, so... So one, two, three bananas. So... <laughs> so now we need a <sighs> good blue bunny. So you've got three, three bananas and one blue baby. Okay, can I just quickly are these drawings to scale? Yes. Because that blueberry is the same size as that banana. So is that a tiny banana or an absolutely enormous blueberry? Um, it's a tiny banana. What are you going to do? Any more drawing? What? One more thing. Okay. Yeah, look at that's. This is actually the table. Yeah. Wait, wait, that's a big pack. These are the grapes in it. Okay, so well, this is a pack of grapes. Hmm. Right. This is quite a, a fruit focused breakfast, Luca. Is that deliberate? Yes, deliberate. Right, we done? Yeah. Okay, so to summarise, let me make sure I'm getting this getting this right. My breakfast is going to be three bananas, a mm. single blueberry, mm -hmm. and a pack of grapes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Chicken. 
Okay, breakfast <coughs> is served. Thanks for this, mate. That's right. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I love grapes, love bananas. The, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Let's be honest. Mm. What was the thinking behind the single blueberry? Vitamins. Vitamins? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I've got, there's quite a lot of vitamins here. Protein? Am I going to get much protein from this breakfast? Mm. No. Awkward. Awkward. Okay, um, I guess I should just start eating breakfast now. What? Oh, I'm done. Oh, also. Daddy? Yeah? You're not finished. I am. Because you haven't had your protein shaker. You didn't draw protein, did you? Hmm? You literally gave me 4,000 grams of sugar, and that's basically it. <laughs> okay, is your breakfast good? Yeah. Mine was good. So, what should we do now? Uh, play of trains? Yeah. Let's do it together, shall oh, we? Before I forget. Yeah. Luca, tell everyone about the Gymshark flash sale. Go. So, um, this is good and... I haven't told you about it, have I? What's the Gymshark sale? So, Gymshark. Literally never do sales. One or two a year if you are lucky. If you want to get some stuff from Gymshark. They are having a flash sale. Thursday, 7pm UK time. The sale goes live. It's going to be up to 50% off selected lines. So here's what I recommend you do. Use my Gymshark link in the description. Go through, choose all the stuff you want. And then when the sale goes live on Thursday, you'll be ready to go. Because what's going to happen is, the good stuff... <laughs> what are you doing? What's going to happen is um, stuff's going to sell out ridiculously fast. So if you're not prepared, you're going to lose out. So yeah, use that link. Uh, we're going to play trains and I'll catch up with you shortly. Some time's elapsed. It's now snack time. Luca, are you ready for a snack drawing? Yes. Good. I'm quite hungry, not going to lie. Yeah. Feel a bit weird because I've only eaten fruit. So ideally non fruit, but it's your call. That's one tomato. What's that? I don't know, you drew it. What, what is it? It's a... I'll whisper it to you. <laughs> okay, tell, tell everyone what it is. It's a lobster crab. A lobster crab? Yeah. Right. What, what, what are you doing, Dylan? These are its legs. Right, how many legs do crabs have? This is a very big crab. It's four, three, two, four, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-nine. Right, should, should we stop drawing legs? Yeah, that. Okay, that was thirty-nine legs. Yeah, thirty-nine. Okay, what's, what have you based that on? A circle. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's it. That's my snack. Yeah. A crab and a tomato. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, bearing in mind my breakfast was just loads of fruit for my snack. Eat. <laughs> Good. I have crab and a tomato. Should I just bite it? Uh, yeah. The tomato, to be fair. What? No. Okay, crab wise. So, yeah, do they have actual, like, crabs there? No. I just look like an absolute weirdo. <laughs> So I went to Waitrose and just bought a small pack of crab and a tomato. Okay, I've never even encountered dressed crab. Is that a thing? Is that an established thing? Do a really big sniff of this. It smells really nice. <laughs> it's like, as I understand, a crab, they've just taken the crab meat out and then just cooked it, smushed it and put it back inside the shirt. I like crab, to be fair, I like it in sushi stuff, so I don't see why I shouldn't like this. It just looks a bit weird. It is a bit weird. Do you want to try a bit? No. Tiny bit. No. I'll give you a hundred thousand pounds if you eat that. Nice. <laughs> okay. And actually makes quite a nice contrast going from the tomato to the crab. Good choice, Luca. 
club and tomato. Mm. Now, while it is weird, food combination digest, I'm gonna quickly talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. Now, everyone knows my two favorite things in this world are surfing and sharks. So when Surfshark reached out and offered to sponsor this video, literally easiest decision ever. Now, if you've never heard of Surfshark, they're basically a VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, you're a moron. No, I'm joking. A VPN is basically a tool that protects your privacy when you're using the internet. So stuff like passwords and personal images, that sounds weird, uh, videos, just your personal stuff, your personal data is all protected. But on top of that, and this is crucial, a VPN allows you to change the location from which you're accessing the internet, which opens up a whole world of potential content and possibilities. Anyway, I've been using Surfshark for the last few weeks and I've come to the conclusion that is sick. The coolest things about it for me are firstly, it gives you access to a whole load of extra content. So like I said, I can open up Surfshark, I can change my location to the US and that means that when I watch Netflix, I get loads of new different stuff, which has obviously been an absolute result in this lockdown. Secondly, it protects your privacy when using public Wi-Fi. So I know that if I'm out and I jump on the Wi-Fi, all of my personal stuff, my passwords and stuff are safe. I don't have to worry about some absolute creep gaining access to the videos of me I shot last year in Andorra when I was riding that horse through a field completely naked covered in Marmite. Wait, that didn't happen, but if it did happen, it it would be safe. And lastly, Surfshark is the only VPN that allows you to use your one account across unlimited devices. So you can set it up on your laptop, on your desktop, on your MacBook, on your pager. That's probably not true. And they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you sign up, there's literally zero risk. So there is a link to Surfshark in the description. Go and click that link. Use the code Matt and you will get 85% off. How is that even a thing? And you get three months free. You're welcome. Luca, your artistic skills are required. Yes. You ready? Yes. Okay. Door away, my friend. I need some lunch. That is quite big. That's so big, the cake is big. Cake? Yes, the cake. For my, mm. for my lunch? Yeah. Is that a suitable lunch? Mm, yes, it's got my juice pots in it. Okay. It's going to be a colourful cake. <laughs> Right, what, what are you doing now, Luca? It's a strawberry ice cream bit. It's a strawberry ice cream bit? Mm -hmm. On top of the cake? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't see why that wouldn't be my lunch. Right, done. That's finished? Yeah. So what kind of cake is this? It's a strawberry cake. A strawberry cake? Yeah. <clears throat> with strawberry ice cream on top? Yeah. And that, that's my lunch? Yeah. Not going to have any... Okay. My protein intake today has been very, very low, just FYI. That's a what, Daddy? Okay, is it? Yeah. Excellent, I can't wait to see you at lunch. Ice cream and cake for lunch. That isn't weird at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, um, so as the drawing denotes, that isn't that much ice cream, is it? It's like a, like a spoon. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, squeakiest stool in the world. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay, let's go. This is actually a really good cake to be fair. Daddy, I'm not going to eat all of that, are you? Why not? <laughs> Look, you're just staring at me while I eat. Hmm. It's really distracting. Look, try and eat a bite of your sandwich. Is that annoying? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite annoying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel a bit sick now. Any advice? Tell you. Right, thanks. Is it good? Oh, I think it's really cold. It is an incredible cake, to be fair, but... Is it? I just feel like I need something more savoury. Finish, can I have some cake, please? <clears throat> Good? Okay. I'm gonna stop eating cake now because I feel quite sick. It's like a lot of sugar. Um, I'm just craving some savory food. Luca, for the next thing you draw, can you draw me something savory, please? Something that's not sweet. I've eaten a lot of sugar today. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Right. Luca. I have video evidence of you promising to do me something savoury. Yes, pizza! That's the one. Okay, spoiler alert, absolutely fantastic choice. Yes, Luca. What, let's go. 
what the pizza's got a bit less. So, we're now we're doing bread to be the tomatoes. Is it essential you put the lid on the end every time? Uh, yeah, so it don't get lost. Good shout to be fair. See these little red bits on the tomatoes. This is the cheese. Okay. And these are all the bits for the cheese. Right. Now I'm going to put some ham on. Okay. So far so good. And they're all the bits for the ham. Well, when you say all the bits for the ham, and like when you say all the bits for the cheese and all the bits for the tomato, what does that mean? Mm, it means to make it tasty. Right. No blue. Blue? Right, yeah. what's blue on a pizza, Luca? Blueberries. Blueberries? Mm. Right. Have you have you had pizza with blueberries before? No. Okay, why, why are you putting it on my pizza? Uh, to make it really funny and strange. Excellent. I mean, funny and strange are always my two top criteria for a pizza, so that's perfect. Luca, FYI, I'm going to have to ring up and order this pizza, yeah? Yeah. With blueberries on. Yeah. Cool. And some cucumber. If you're gonna make a hole in the paper, mate. Mm. You need to move on. I'm going to make a hole in the paper. So you've gone you've gone over the same bit like thirty times. Done. Okay, right. So just to clarify, yeah. we've got a margarita pizza mm. with ham, yeah. blueberries, yeah. and cucumber. Yeah. And tomato and cheese. Yeah, that's a margarita. Okay, that order is not going to be awkward at all. Hello, Rocker Pizza, how can I help you? Hi, can I order delivery, please? What can I get for you then? Um, can I get a large margarita? Yep. But can I have ham on it, please? Ham on a margarita, yeah? Yeah, and then also cucumber. Cucumber? Yeah. I don't think we offer cucumber as a topping, so I'm sorry. Okay, and then just on the off chance, blueberries? Is that an option? No, it's not, so I'm terribly sorry. No, okay, so just ham then? Just ham, okay. Okay, and then can I also just get another margarita, please? Yep. Just that, thanks, mate. Pizzas acquired. Now, obviously, they had no... That's all. They had no blueberries and cucumber in the pizza shop, but Sayers was all too happy to remind me we have them in the fridge. So, yeah, let's um, populate the pizza. literally goes against everything I stand for. Okay, first bite. Luca, what are your thoughts on this pizza you've made? Um, good. Wanna try some? Uh, no. You said it was good then. Okay, I found the tactic. Just take massive bites and it kind of drowns out the blueberry cucumber. Right, Luca, you need to do a time lapse. Okay. Should you do a Scottish accent? Three, two, one, go. Yep. Pizza done. Um, it was weird initially, and then my tactic in the end. Lucy's <laughs> <laughs> just about to be swept out to sea. No falling. You're an absolute nutter. Um, yeah, my tactic in the end was just to eat all the blueberry and cucumber in one go, and then the second half of the pizza was way more enjoyable and way less weird. Anyway, but Luke is in bed. See you back at home. Luke is in bed, and the video's over, obviously, because he can't draw in his sleep. In terms of a summary of the day, I'd say weird. Uh, if I was going to choose one word, definitely weird and strange combinations, but it's done, so that's the main thing, right? Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, like I said at the start, make sure you subscribe. If you have not entered the giveaway where I'm going to be giving one of you guys freaking thousands of pounds, then go and watch the last video and get involved, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh.